I want to talk about my education as a kid, as a child. I started my education at Medivue Nursery and in that time it felt like I had no friends but it didn't matter because I'm just a toddler. I can't exactly remember how long I spent at the nursery, like how many years I spent there. When I finished at the Medivue nursery, I started primary school at Coombe Road Primary School. It's a very good school and it still is. And the same thing happened with primary school as it did with nursery, where I felt like I wasn't making any friends at all. The point of me being at school wasn't to make friends, but that's what I felt like I was missing as a toddler in nursery. So when I went to primary school, I felt like I needed that addition. There is a lot of bullying going around primary schools. And it's like, well, for me, it felt like the teachers didn't notice. It felt like the teachers didn't give a shit. They were in the playgrounds while all this shit was happening. I remember one situation that happened between me and somebody else. I'm not going to name that person, but that person probably knows who they are. So basically, I'm an infant between year one and year four. And one of the juniors from year five to six came down from their playground to the infant's playground, which they're not allowed to, and bullied me, pushed me around, kicking me, pushing me, and stuff like that. The same person stole my Rubik's Cube when I brought it in for show and tell, which they did on Tuesdays. I quite enjoyed show and tell because the teachers gave the pupils an opportunity to bring in things from home that they had an interest in and I was interested in that. So I brought my Rubik's Cube in and he just snatched it from me. He did not care. I was screaming, give it back, give it back. And he was just hovering it above my head and I was jumping to try and grab it back from him and he just wouldn't give it back to me. I can't remember how old I was at the time but it's pretty fucked up because they weren't allowed to come down from their playground to our playground. My teachers at my primary school would say good things about me like Milo gets on well with his peers and enjoys the social aspects of school. They said a lot of good things about me and they said a lot of bad things about me, but mostly good. There was an amazing person at Coombe Road Primary School and her name is Lumina. And Lumina was a speech and language teacher but she doesn't teach that anymore unfortunately and I can tell you now that she has helped me so much with my problems that I had. I couldn't read, I couldn't write, she helped me through my feelings and my thoughts and she taught me how to deal with all those things.
I'm really glad that she was a part of my life because if she wasn't, I wouldn't be able to write my lyrics. I wouldn't be able to express how I feel through my music. If I get a lot of money making music, I'm gonna give some of that money to Lumina because she helped me towards that skill to write amazing lyrics. She taught me how to fully express how I feel through the art of writing. Nobody else did that. She did that. If I make 10 grand, then I'll give her half at least because she deserves that. And I feel sad because she's not teaching speech and language anymore. I couldn't read or write through year one to year six and she was always helping me. She helped me transition from an infant to a junior. I felt the same when I went up into the juniors. I couldn't find friends. I found it hard. I found the work hard and Lumina helped me through that. And after I finished primary school, I then went to BACA, which stands for Brighton Aldridge Community Academy. And the same happened there. I was getting bullied. I found it hard to find friends. I found one person and his name is Riaz. And we were friends throughout year seven to year 11. And now it seems like we've just drifted away from each other, but I guess we just move on. There's so many things I can talk about that happened in secondary school, like the C3 system was fucking insane. Put yourself into my shoes, right? It's break time and there's five minutes left of break. So I go to get water from the bathroom and my maths teacher was shouting from down the corridor. Her name was Miss Diego and I don't know why she was shouting at me because there was five minutes of break left and she just wanted everybody to be in the class early. After I finished drinking my water from the water fountain, I go into my maths class. I had a bottle with me, so I filled it up before I came into the classroom. So I've already filled this up and I start to drink the water in class because they said you can't have energy drinks, you can't have alcohol in class, obviously. So I start to drink my water from my water bottle and I'm getting told off for drinking water and it's getting to the point where I'm getting a C3 for drinking water. I got a detention for drinking water. I got a fucking detention because I drank water. Think about that. Here's another situation, right? I was in art class and I picked up a pencil and I got a C3 for it. I got a C3 for picking up a fucking pencil. How fucking stupid is that? How did they allow them to give me a C3 for drinking water and picking up a fucking pencil? Literally, it's so fucking stupid. I don't really remember much else that happened in school. There's a lot that happened, a lot of fucked up situations, which I'm not going to talk about. I finished school without GCSEs. I did not pass a single 
thing. I guess I just wasn't smart enough. And yeah, that was just me talking about my education life. And yeah, that was me talking about my education life. And I'll see you in the next episode.